Hello. Uh, there is a requirement uh, when you're taking the intermediate uh, amateur license to do a practical assessment. And uh, at Cornwall Radio Amateur Club, uh, we are uh, have come up with uh, a TRF receiver. Uh, this meets the schedule, the schedule uh, for a suitable product to do. Uh, it is a simple TRF receiver and it has a slight twist to it that uh, we use a charging circuit that's why it's called the harvester so we can uh, harvest incoming radio waves to charge a battery so I'd like to just show you uh, in detail uh, a finished board uh, and I'll go through the various component parts for, for you so here we have a completed board we have a BNC connector here uh, for an incoming radio waves. Now you could connect this to one of your spare aerials or even uh, perhaps a little telescopic aerial like that. So we have incoming radio waves coming into a little full wave rectifier here to change the signals to DC and then the DC goes through and charges a rechargeable battery or it could be perhaps a supercapacitor something perhaps for you to experiment with a little later we have various switches here now we have a charge and test switch to actually test the charging circuit we can switch to the test position and with a handheld uh, transmitter nearby we can see that the LED will light so that proves that the little charging circuit is working and in the charge position our incoming signals are charging up our battery. We can then harness this power to actually run a little TRF radio, a single transistor uh, which performs the amplification and detection. We have two wave band switch here which we can switch in to select an inductor and you should be able to get a lot of local AM radio stations. You can however, if you want to extend the range of it, uh, actually connect up an external tuning capacitor onto the terminals there. So, depending on your location, you may require a, an earth connection and an aerial connection. And you will be using uh, simple, cheap uh, earphones. Now, I've connected up for this experiment, we've connected it up to an amplifier. So we're just going to switch it on now and see how we go. And there we are, we're on band number two, so we can actually tune in the uh, tuning capacitor to peak our signal. I think we've got a local, local radio Cornwall station there, and we switch it over to the other band, and I think we've got AM Radio 4 there. So you'll see, uh, you can experiment with the different length aerials uh, to improve matters. And uh, I th hope you find it a very rewarding project to, uh, to consider for your exam.